Keys Outdoors is proud to be partnering with Quick Trip Stores to set our fans up with the gear you need for your next big adventure. Text KEYS, K-E-Y-E-S, to 75309 for a chance to win an outdoor prize package, including a $100 Quick Trip gift card. After four days on the water with Brad Rue, I wasn't ready to call it quits. See, Brad and I were talking, and we both agreed that all of the tributaries that flow into Lake Michigan would have to have a fishable population of muskies heading up these rivers to spawn. So there was only one way to find out, and that would be to pick a small river, head up it, and start fishing. The question then would be, did I pick the right one? I guess you'll just have to watch and find out. solo and what I'm focusing on is we're at the tail end of the spawn these fish are making their way out of these marsh complexes that dot the landscape on the Great Lakes they go up into these marshy areas to spawn and good river system that comes through got good flow I'm gonna go up and just drift it down see what happens so I'm gonna locate them and hopefully put a couple fish in the boat what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out throwing small bucktails Again, it's uh, post-spawn, so hopefully we'll tie into them. Flying solo today. There we go, there we go, fish on. There we go, fish on. You guys were fishing these small rivers here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Real nice fish. Right on, nice fish. This is awesome, dude. Really cool. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. It's probably a male. Oh, nice fish. Oh, yeah, right on. Nice fish, man. Way to start the trip out. Awesome way to start the trip out. 
right on. Very, very, very cool. Small rivers, that's what it's all about. Here we go, yeah! And let her go now. Yeah! These Outdoors is brought to you by Fish Hard Performance Outdoor Clothing and Jack Daniels. Designers of the great, architects of the useful, composers of the loud, builders of the beautiful. We live in a country that lets people make things they believe in, and that's as American as, well. None of this would be possible without batteries, baby. We finally found a battery that can outfish us. Yeah! With one muskie in the boat, I was feeling pretty good on which of the 11 tributaries that flow into the Bay of Green Bay I decided to pick. First float of the day and one muskie in the bag. Not bad. Somebody will start to drip out. Right on. Very, very, very cool. I'll tell you what, this is just rocking. This is the kind of stuff that Keys Outdoors is all about. Secluded, off the wall, who, you know, you're just not going to see a lot of people doing stuff like this. It's a lot of work to get in here, and but it's worth it. And you got to have the proper equipment. You know what's truly amazing, guys, is I'm in a 21-foot boat, and I'm up cricks that are 40 yards wide. It's unbelievable. I mean, I'm drafting in 16 to 18 inches of water and catching muskies. But yet, I can take the MX-2025, hold on to the big lake just a mile down, and I can fish all day in big water. This boat is truly amazing. This is the ultimate muskie fishing boat there is. I mean, far none. This boat will handle it. Unbelievable. Back to work.
again, another male, probably about that 42 inch mark. Not bad. Fun. Hit hit hard. And fought hard. They always do. All right, let's take a look at this girl. Fish number two here, floating these tributaries that feed into the Great Lakes. Burning bucktails, awesome, on a show girl. Yeah guys, fish number two, Great Lakes tributaries. Yeah baby, keys outdoors man. Right on, let's let her go back. Fish number two, little slime time on the old goat. Oh, awesome, very, very, very cool. Two fish. Not only was I catching fish, I was learning a great deal about this new water that I was on. Well, I'll tell you what, fish number two, it's great, flying solo here. Uh, what I'm doing is real simple, guys. This is a huge delta-type style marsh complex that dumps into, um, into the Great Lakes. But what I've been doing is just going upriver a couple miles and then just drifting it. There's a good current here. I'm moving at roughly about 0.3 miles an hour. So I've got a good flow right down the chute here. And what I've been doing, because I'm only by myself, I've been putting my boat sideways. If I stay right in the middle, I can hit both sides by myself. And that's what's paid off for me because I caught that one in shallow water, about two foot of water. And then I've caught the second one in about five feet of water where it gets the deepest on the outside bend. So that's what I'm doing. It's real simple, but you know, just one guy, you know, fan casting back and forth to each side, shallow, deep, shallow, deep, trying to get and cover everything that I possibly can. number three off. Dang it. It's a good sign though. Good sign. Oh, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Guys, that concludes day one. Northern Wisconsin floating these tributaries that feed into Lake Michigan. Tell you what, awesome time, man. I'm really excited. I'm glad I did it and put two fish in the boat and had three opportunities. So can't argue with that. But I'm gonna call it a night right now. I'm gonna take it off the water. The mosquitoes are just horrendous here. I'm gonna call it a night, get something to eat and be hard on it tomorrow morning, first light. Keys Outdoors is brought to you by Great Clips and the Skeeter Boat Center. Unbelievable. This is awesome. Come on, really? I knew he was gonna shank it. Didn't shake it! <laughs> Seriously, what are we supposed to do with this? What if I just, uh... No, no, no! Oh. No, don't do that. Sorry. He is really in there. That slime dripping off? It is. Yep. That's nice. Wouldn't it be great if every situation had helpful notes? That's why at Great Clips, we have clip notes. Notes that say exactly what you like. So don't just get a cut, get your hair cut. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. Right on, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That broke the, broke the ice. That on the little one, the, the crusher. The crusher, man. And we're actually bringing the crusher back. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Very cool. And it's on the crusher again. That's three in a row. Man, man. big head shakes, big head shakes.
I've never been much for buying things because of a name. For me, it's about the product. That's why I fish out of the Skeeter MX2025, powered by Yamaha, the world's best musky boat. I mean, if we're throwing names around, well then, I'm throwing the Skeeter MX series out there. Hooking up on some monster skis. Just saying. Get them. Brian's putting out a spread. Our whole game plan is we're gonna troll upriver and then what we're gonna do is drift it back down and cast. That's gonna be our game plan for today. What we've got down is we're running blades. Because we're running in shallow water, we're running big blades by Musky Mayhem. Uh, they're cowgirls because when you pull them, they really rise in the water column. They go about a foot, foot and a half under uh, the surface, which is prime for shallow water. Gives a good, big, flashy profile, and uh, we're going to hook up. It's just a matter of time. Buck. Buck in the bag. Got to have them on the boat, man. This represents the lure. This is what we want to happen. It's going to just come. Something just popped ya? Oh, yeah. That's the whole thing. There's two of us, too. There, there it is. There it is. How big? It's got a little tap and followed up at around 45. They're not quite ready. Come back and get her moonrise. Well guys, that was our first attempt, 10 minutes of our casting, and had probably a 42 to 44 incher come up and try to eat a lure. Just missed it, so that's a good sign. So we know those fish are still here, man. And uh, we're just going to fish it out. We're going to be here for the next, uh, well, today and then tomorrow. So we're going to get dialed in here, and we're going to figure this out. We're going to catch some fish. Okay, there's a big sand right off this point here. Big sandbar. There. Got him. Got him. Oh! Oh! Nice fish. Another nice one. Come on, man. That would be six fish that we've encountered in about an hour. So that's a good sign, man. They're in here and they're in here thick. So it's just a matter of time until they go up, but how frustrating. I mean, that one finally was a serious one that committed to it, had her stung for about two seconds, and then off. So we'll just keep pounding it out and hopefully get it, but how frustrating is that, man? Unbelievable. We'll make them up. Yeah, we'll get them. We'll
There you got him. Nice, buddy. Keep him pinned, Brian. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish, bud. Awesome. She tapped me and she came back and grabbed it. Bring her on this side and then we can net it on again. That was my fault, dude. Yeah, God dang it. That was my fault. We should have grabbed her on that side. Right. Trying to get it on film. There's more. There's more. Nice, There's more. so. Boy, the blades have been hitting. How many fish? That's seven now. Three new lures from Muskie Innovation. Dying Dog, a hybrid suspending jerk bait designed to mimic a struggling and dying bait fish. Ripping Dog, a soft plastic bait fish shaped lure that can be jigged or rip casted. A new technique that's catching on in the musky world. Magnum Shallow Invader, the big brother of the time tested standard shallow invader but with a much larger profile that can be casted or trolled. Go to muskyinnovation.com. All right, man. That's a dandy. Got him. Yes. Get in the net. Yeah, there. Fifty, baby. That's a nice fish there. That's a four footer for sure. Musky Buster's back. The all-new Chicago Muskie Show is the newest and most innovative Muskie Show ever. Join us January 9th, 10th, and 11th at the Sears Center Arena in Hoffman Estates, Illinois for all the hottest Muskie products under one tent in our all-new 2015 product showcase. Our seminars feature the best local Muskie professionals teaching you the latest tactics, new electronic technology, boat rigging, and don't forget the huge casting demo tank. We're taking fishing shows to a whole new level. Come be part of it back for 2015 Keys Custom Colors. New for this year, Musky Busters KO Custom Colored Leopard Frog Low Rider and Super Humper Bullfrog Pattern. Also KO Custom Color Musky Innovation Subtle Tails when only a little color is needed. In from Musky Mayhem, four proven time-tested patterns that paid off big for us this year. And there's only one place on earth you can get the Keys Custom Colors and that's at Joe's Sporting Goods dot com. because we're doing anything wrong. We have those days. First day ever was 18 fish we lost on film. Oh, well, that was with Dave, right? Yeah. There, 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 big one. How big, Brian? Oh, I have to Another one. Another fish. Nice fish. That's a nice one, dude.
Yeah, baby. There it is, man. Woohoo! Good job, buddy. Thank you. Nice fish. I well, seen that blade just 42, coming in. 42, 43. This would be our eighth fish eight in two hours. Board. What's that? Number eight comes in the boat right now. Sweet. Fish number one in the boat. Right on. Nice fish. It's coloring. Good job, buddy. I'm uh, showgirl, huh? Yep. Small bucktails. Oh, you got him? Yep. Right up the sandbar, right? All right, that's where they are. They're shallow. Second fish for Brian, man. Just lighten them up. This is our ninth fish. Oh, that's a nice fish, too. About the same size. Nice bite, nice bite. That's a little thicker fish, Brian. Nice. A little longer too. Yeah. About the same size. Oh, she's hooked good. Okay. Don't lose that fish here. Look here. here. Give me the line. We'll get it. We're rolling. She's hooked good. Fish number two, man. Fish number two. Tune in next week for the conclusion of Marshland Muskies Part Two. Keys Outdoors, the quest has been brought to you by these fine sponsors.